Hi, my name is Anna Varford, and today we're really pleased to be launching our new report, um, which is Living in the Climate Crisis, Young People in Uganda. We've been trying to understand better how young people are impacted by climate change in one of the world's poorest countries, and also how they're responding. I just wanted to share a couple of the really interesting findings that we've had. One is that um, young people are not just affected by eco-anxiety, um, a kind of concern for the future and what the future might hold, but also young people in Uganda are actually affected by a kind of eco-trauma. So they're already impacted directly by climate change and have lost their livelihoods sometimes, sometimes their homes, um, and they've sometimes been forced out of education or into early marriages as a result. Another thing I wanted to share is that it's really striking that actually there isn't um, a lot of information on the Ugandan school curricula about climate change. So while young people are being affected very seriously by climate change, they don't necessarily have a full kind of strong educational basis on which to understand what the international causes are um, of climate change or what the solutions might be. The last thing I wanted to share was that um, while young people are adapting, they have to because it's already happening to them. The the adaptations that they're making are also currently being destabilised by those same forces. So someone who might ch change um, their income stream, say, to chicken farming, um, will nevertheless still be impacted by higher grain prices brought up by disruptions to agriculture. Um, all this points to a great need for, um, firstly, climate change to be um, stopped as soon as possible, and also for young people to receive particular support because they are having their lives disrupted at a moment in their life tra trajectory, which is um, particularly susceptible to disruption and longer term negative impacts. Hi, everybody. My name is Anthony Mugere. I'm from Makerere University. I'm a lecturer in the School of Social Sciences and also a researcher on climate change and its vulnerability. I'm so glad that uh, during this COP26 Glasgow conference, um, part of a project on peak youth, which I work on, I'm a co-investigator, together with my colleague Anna Bufford from the University of Cambridge in the UK. And we've been looking at the youth, and we are glad that we are launching this report during this conference, Living in the Climate Crisis, Young People in Uganda. I just want to mention two things on why we decided to do research on young people. The first one is that uh, Uganda is one of the countries with the youngest population in the world. If you look at the World's Economic Forum for Africa Report 2019, it's clear that Uganda is just behind in Niger, Chad, Mali and Somalia in terms of the youth population. So we felt this is a compelling reason to do this study and uh, we are glad that we've done it. The second reason is that research that we've done here in Makerere and uh, the think tank Accord, which does a lot of public policy work, shows that the youth, uh, just in, together with the women and refugees, are the, two high, the three highly vulnerable groups to climate change. So this presented us with an opportunity to find out how the youth are coping with climate change and what their views are. So I'm really looking forward to the launch of our report uh, this, uh, this week at the COP, Living in the Climate Crisis, Young People in Uganda. And I strongly believe that the findings here will inform policy, uh, government and other levels, and will have an impact in the way youth are adapting and are also adopting measure, measures of mitigation in relation to climate change. Thank you very much. Let me start with a quote. Imagine climate change as a wound on the planet. Educating people about climate change is the most effective treatment that can be applied for this wound to heal. In this report, we highlight the impact of climate change on education, but also critical that is coming out is the role that education plays in fighting climate change. Because climate change education empowers people with information that leads to decision making and action, and young people want this be prioritized. Thank you.
And these were some of the ways through which young people are adapting to the impacts of climate change. The young people are migrating from their areas to other areas in search of new livelihood opportunities. The young people are also carrying out fruit tree planting so as to conserve the environment. The young people are inventing kitchen gardens so as to have what to eat during dry season. They are planting vegetables through hand irrigation farming. The young people are also carrying out environmental activism, reaching out to fellow young people and other people in the so community. So thrilled to share with you our new research report on living in the climate crisis, young people in Uganda. Now for the past year, we have spoken to over 1,300 young people, particularly from two regions in Uganda, Busoga region, which is more in the eastern side of Uganda, and Karamoja, which is more in the northern part of Uganda. Both regions are facing um, the impacts of climate change at a very large scale, and young people are particularly the most affected. They're at the frontiers of this climate crisis. Now, what is particularly special about this report is that young people themselves led the entire research process, you know, from setting the framework to collecting the data, analyzing it, and even now they will be sharing their rich insights with you for discussion. Now we do hope that you enjoy the report. We do not only want to share it with you, but we would also love to engage you in discussions to hear your thoughts, your reflections on what you feel um, are some of the best ways, some of the best approaches in which young people can be supported and how their voices can further be amplified, especially in policy and decision making spaces where they're often the missing majority. Um, we're super excited and we do hope that you give our report a read and enjoy it. Thank you.